So this is our last video wrapping up our discussion about the implementation of a stack using a linked list. And uh, so we got to the pop function. And uh, let's just remind ourselves what was the purpose of each argument. So the stack argument, this allowed us to modify the stack pointer, the pointer that will allow us to uh, identify the beginning of our list or our stack in this case. So we need to always update it. In the case when we pop an element, we're removing the head of the list removing where the stack is pointing to so we must update the stack to reflect this change so that it updates to the next element and we're also using this data pointer or a pointer to a pointer to an integer uh, in order to store the element that we are retrieving from the stack so we're popping an element we're going to store it in this uh, variable and the user will be able to read this out so that they know whatever was popped out of um, the stack and also we're using this integer right here this return value for the error code in case there are any errors okay so the first step we said was to basically just create this element so we can use it a pointer to uh, an element and what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this pointer point to the head of the list so wherever stack is pointing to we're gonna have our element point to it so remember we're dereferencing stack here because we have a pointer to a pointer to the head of the list. So we dereference it, so now we only have a pointer to the head of the list. And we're going to make element point to it. So this is the state of the list. Suppose this was our list, or our stack. And this was, we dereferenced it, so we got to this point right here. And we've made element point to the same position, to the same beginning. Because this is the element we're going to be returning to the user. Now we're saying that if element is null, return 1. So if this list was empty, an element pointed to the beginning, which is stack, uh, uh, and the stack pointed to null, and element started pointing to null, and there, therefore the list is empty, and we can't really pop anything, so the user will have to detect for this one and basically process it accordingly. Now suppose we move through this and we have an, a list that is not empty. So what will happen is that uh, our stack here needs to be updated. Because we're removing this element, the stack needs to be pointing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to dereference the pointer to the pointer to the head of the list. Because in, a se in essence, if actually we wanted to draw it, this is what we have. We have two pointers. This is what we want to modify right here. And this is what we have. So we have a copy of this. Okay. So when we dereference, we're getting right here. We're getting to this position so we can modify this. So we're going to modify it and we're going to make it point to whatever element next is pointing to. So it's going to be right here. So we're going to bring our stack right to this position. And now it's no longer here. So this is all gone. Now our stack points to this element. We're slowly trying to remove this. We're going to remove this, the first element, and return to the user. Then we want our data, the data in which we're going to be storing the popped element, to be pointing to whatever element data has. So this is the data part. And we want the data so we dereference it because we have a pointer to a pointer to an integer. So we dereference it. Now we have a pointer to an integer. Take your time to think about it. So we're dereferencing a pointer to a pointer to an integer. Therefore, we have a pointer to an integer. And what we're doing is that we're assigning it whatever is an element data. And this, in fact, is a pointer to an integer, whichever we, that we stored earlier. So now this will point to that integer. And this is what we're going to return. This is what the user will read out. And then we free this element. So we free the memory that was allocated for this element. We don't really need it anymore. So this is gone. Now this is our stack. And this is the element that we're going to be returning to the user. The user will simply have to read it out. And finally, deleting the stack. We could have done it in a different way. We could have simply called pop until we freed the entire list. So keep on popping, popping all the elements until it becomes null, until we get return a 1. When we return one, we know the list is empty. Or the way I did it here is by um, actually traversing the entire list and using the next pointers to reach the very end. And every time you, so basically every time you store the next element, you free this element. Now you have a pointer to the next. Then you look at this one, you store the next one, and then you free this one. Then you look at this one, you store the next one, and so on and so forth until you reach the very end, until this becomes null. And then you end and you finish and return zero. So this is how we implement a stack uh, using a linked list. And I'll be posting a link to this code in the description.